angle properties of a circle in the figure below abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral point o is the center of the circle angle abo is equals to 30 degrees and angle ado is equals to 40 degrees so you can see it in the diagram there calculate the size of angle bcd calculate the size of angle bcd bcd is this angle that is here so that is the angle that you need to calculate so i can look at this diagram uh, looking at uh, angle 30 and 40 if you draw uh, a straight line the center there there's something that you're going to notice that this is the radius all this is the radius and we are forming two isosceles triangles so this is the radius this is the radius this is the radius they equal they're forming isosceles triangles and the base angles of an isosceles triangle be equal so if this angle is 30 therefore this one should be 30 degrees if this is 40 this angle should be 40 the base angles are equal so i'd like you to look at angle b a d b a d angle b a d and angle b c d angle b a d and angle b c d those are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral and there's a property connecting that that two opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral must add up to 180. So if I take this angle, angle BAD plus angle BCD, that one should give 180. That is a property. Therefore, angle BAD is 30 plus 40. That would be 70 degrees plus angle BCD should give 180. So therefore, angle BCD is equal to 180 minus 70 degrees. And this one gives 110 degrees. So this angle should be 110. That is the size of angle BCD.